In this live self-defense training video, you're gonna discover how to defend yourself, stop the threat with this homemade self-defense walking stick. This is simply a dowel rod. I always say invest your time before you invest your money. If you train with a 36 inch dowel rod, this is just something you get at a Home Depot, Lowe's, or any do-it-yourself store. Uh, it's just, it's the same size as a walking stick. This is an Irish shillelagh walking stick, but most walking sticks are about 36 inches. You can immediately strike. There are a lot of things that you can do in self-defense, whether you use the traditional walking stick or you use the dowel rod, the homemade self-defense walking stick. And I'm gonna show you how to stop the threat using your self-defense walking stick or your homemade self-defense walking stick. First thing I want you to see is how to get it into a defensive posture. You're gonna always keep the stick between you and the threat. You can thrust from here, you can chop, strike them this way. You can change hand positions. I like you to also move off the center line and thrust. You can slide your hand down the back. You can bring it up across the body, down into the legs, down over the top of the head. These are all fast, powerful, explosive strikes using the self-defense walking stick. Now, if you like this type of content, I make these videos all the time. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you get notified and that we can train together. So with this 36 inch dowel rod, and this one is in, this is made in oak. You can get this, this was less than $10. Um, I think it was $7.99. It's an inch and a quarter. Hello, Robin, it's good to see you. Robin's in Portugal. You take a little bit of sandpaper, start with a really heavy or low grit, like an 80, and you take off all of the splinters, and then you go to 110, and then you make it really smooth, and you go to 220. 220 has got, that means 220 pieces of sand per square inch. You sand it off really fine, it'll be buttery smooth, and then you put a bunch of oil on it, like some kind of mineral oil, and you just let it soak in there, and you do that over and over for a few weeks, every, every day for a few weeks, and then that brings the moisture back into it so it doesn't break. Now, let's talk about the first way. I'm gonna lower the camera so you can see my hands. The first way I want you to get yourself into this better position to defend yourself, if you're walking down the street with your hand on top of your walking stick, you're gonna slide your hand down the back. Good, Robin says, makes own sticks, several different types. Um, Garen, good afternoon, Garen. If you make your own self-defense stick, please, Put it in the comment section below what you like to use for material. What's your favorite material to use? Is it wood? Is it metal? Is it plastic? If it's wood, what kind of wood? Uh, Rogue is forever. It's good to see you. Or Rogue forever. Your hand slides down the back. That's the first way. There are going to be three ways I'm going to show you how to use this for self-defense. The first way is your hand's going to slide down the back. So if your hand's here, again, this is the Irish shillelagh. Your hand's just on the hammer or the ball here at the top and you're gonna slide down the back, shoving that right into his face for self-defense. So from here, sliding here, and then you have that simple th uh, thrust coming right into the face. Now here's how all of this works. This hard piece of wood smashes into his nose, his teeth, his throat, his solar plexus, his groin, and it's that shortest distance between two points. This is the threat, we're gonna call this bag the threat. You're here, you put your hand up. Hey, you're getting too close, back up. You have to immediately address the threat. You're going to stop the threat with your self-defense walking stick by simply thrusting. That's the very first motion. The second motion from this position is this turning motion. Think about a punch and then drop your thumb. Punch and push your thumb down. When you do this extension of your elbow and then you turn your thumb down, that's gonna bring the back of it up really fast to the side of the head, striking the temple, striking the jaw, striking the ear, coming into the neck. There are all these nerves in the neck. You hit those hard and fast with the follow through. You can drop somebody to their knees. And this is gonna be important. This is not one and done. It's not one strike. This is violence of action. This is going in over and over, close with and destroy. So you're gonna strike over and over again, right? You're gonna to have to move. Put it in the other hand and push, thrusting really hard. So the first one is here, the second one is a turn, the third one is bringing your hand up, almost like putting your helmet on. See how that protects the outside of my body? This uh, staff here between me and him, that covers me here, and then I'm gonna step and this simple, hard, fast thrust. From this position, the fourth thing I want you to do is slide your hand back and bring it down on top of the head. 
Notice that your hands stay apart. If they come together, they'll over rotate. You wanna bring them apart and stop it here. So four different strikes from this position. The hand slides down the back. Hey, you're too close. This hand is up and open. This is to cover your head. This is to drive your elbow into his face as you then thrust, strike, pick it up, thrust here, slide your hand down, bring it over to the top. Four first opening strikes for self-defense. By no means do you throw one and stop and expect him to just fall to the ground. Self-defense is not martial arts. Self-defense is not a kata. You're not doing a choreography that's a dance. You're not dancing with him. You're shoving this right in his face, hoping that that moves him back a little bit. Then from here, turning this over here, bringing this up here, thrust in, and then down on top. And you can practice that over and over. Practice with your right hand and then practice with your left hand. Always do the same thing on both sides so you become ambidextrous, learn how to fight with the right and the left. And again, if you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up so that I can make some more and so that we can train together and grow this virtual self-defense dojo. The second way I want you to get into a better position is simply sliding your hand down the front. So your hand's here, it's gonna come down the front. We go back to our Irish shillelagh, we slide here, thrusting, turning, bring it up, thrust, slide it down, using that lead filled. That's lead filled, by the way. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's lead in that one. These, and this is made out of uh, blackthorn. Blackthorn is very hard to break. This is an extremely fast, hard, powerful um, uh, piece of Irish devastation, right? <laughs> Coming down on top. The Irish were well known, very famous for cracking heads for self-defense and for clan fights and, and fighting the British and all that for years and years. That's why they banned them for a time. But you can also slide your hand down the front and pick it up like a sword. And that's what we're gonna talk about now. So from here, your hand slides down the front and then you get it in this position. Between me and you, we wanna create some uh, distance. Hey Don, Don's in Bellbrook. Don, it's good to see you. I was talking about Bellbrook last night. Uh, small world, right? Yeah, bless the Irish, thank you. Anonymous Revelation says, bless the Irish. Don knows that I lived in Bellbrook for a time and I love Bellbrook, Bellbrook's such a beautiful place. I was talking about all the parks in Bellbrook and what a beautiful place it is. Your hand slides down the front, you bring your hand to here and then you thrust. That's your opening motion. I always want you to start with this thrust if you can. Um, yeah, Brooklyn AI says, can you do the same with a short stick? Absolutely, all these moves can be done with a short stick you're just using a closer grip. Um, and the nice thing about a short stick is you can do a lot of them with just one hand, but always when you get up two hands on it, you're gonna have more control and more power. So from here, your hand slides down the front, bring it into the other hand. Just think about pointing your thumb at the threat. The threat's right in front of you. Your hand goes down the front, you point the th thumb at the threat. You can even do this with a one-handed thrust to get it started. Thrust right away, you get the other hand on it, the second motion is chopping. Chopping down a tree, just like this. Now, two ways to do a chop. One is with your arm muscles, right? Arm muscles are not as strong. He's bigger than you, there are multiple attackers. If it's life or death, you don't wanna rely just on your arm strength. You want your whole body to chop down that tree for self-defense. Your hand is gonna slide down the front, point, thrust, turn away, and turn in. By turning your whole body through, you're now striking with so much of your power. So from here, slide down, pick it up, thrust, turn, and strike. Now, slide your hand down to the front and bring the back hand up over your head, almost like the roof of a house. You're back here, this is your shield, and you're gonna finish with that same strike we finished with on the last time. So from here, your hand goes down the front, pick it up, thrust, lift, and smash, coming down over the top. Now I put in the link in below, if you need to order online some, a piece of wood, if you can't get to the store, or you just, uh, if you're like me, you're so busy, you like to order everything, because you can't make time to go to the store, um, I put links for all of them, and it's not, that, it's not that expensive to get this stuff from Amazon and have it shipped to your house. Slide here, pick it up, thrust, lift, strike. Now, stepping off the side, and then we're gonna talk about the third way to hold your stick. If you have your foot forward and you step to the right, lead with the right. If you step to the left, lead with the left. 
never crossing your feet. That's the only thing I'll say about it. If your right foot is in the lead, because maybe you're left-handed, like a boxer, right? Your right foot's in the lead. When you go to the right, move with the right first. When you go to the left, move with the left. Now the benefit, if you're in this position, he's coming in here, especially if he's a stronger, faster, younger attacker, stepping over and almost turning your body at an angle so that you can get out of his, just like the, the, um, the bullfighters with the, the, the little red flag and the, you know, the things they stick in the bull and he's holding and then the bull rages and charges. Imagine that's the attacker and you can kind of just sidestep a little bit. Now, it's, if you can't do that, don't do that. If moving and mobility is an issue for you, don't do that. But you can practice, put your weight on your stick, just like an Irishman, and step to the side and the other side. This will allow you to start to get that basic motion. Most people don't move laterally during their day now, especially as you get older. We're really good at walking forward. Every once in a while, we might take a step back, but very few, <laughs> seldomly do you step to the side. That's why so many older people trip over their little fluffy dog or a grandkid when they, when they try not to step on them because they're just not used to making those lateral moves. So you can practice that, you can get ahead of the curve, step to the side, step in, step to the other side, step in, then get in a better position, step to the side and thrust, step to the side and thrust, step to the side, thrust and block, step to the side, thrust and block. See this block? I'm just turning my hands up and then I'm gonna bring it down on top. One, two, one, two. You can practice it with your foot, feet in this position. Your hand slides down the front. Bring it into the other hand. I think we had this one, we're doing the left side. Bring it here, thrust, block. Thrust, block, and step off the angle. Thrust, step off the angle, smash him as he completely misses you and like a raging bull goes to the side. He's coming this way, step to the side and smash. Get in this position, push, pull, smash. Practice that over and over again, right hand, left hand. And then the last way I want you to hold it is like you're walking down the street, you're not putting your weight on it, you're not using it as a walking stick, you're just carrying it. Like you see so many people do. I see there's a gentleman in my neighborhood every single morning. I saw him this morning, he's always carrying a stick this length. And he carries it for the dogs that have attacked his dog and the owner of the dogs, who is an unreasonable person, who has anger issues, and he's, he's for self-defense. That we live in a world like that, right? It's, you have the right to defend yourself. And I don't advocate ever trying to hurt somebody. And in fact, I know this gentleman, he goes out of his way, across the street, walk at different times, but he never knows. He wants to keep his, his, his dog safe. He carries this. Maybe it's an alligator, maybe it's a pit bull running around. A lot of pit bulls get loose. People are desperate. They let their animals go because they can't feed them anymore. Now they're running the neighborhood. They start to maul somebody. You're out there. You're walking with your stick for that reason. From this position, turn your palm up. That gets it in the other hand. You have that basic chopping motion. You have the thrusting. You have the blocking. Step off the side. From this position to this position, you already know how to use it. From this position to this position, like you're doing push-ups, you can push in this position, you can strike, you can thrust, you can bring it over the top, all from this position. But I want to show you this, and this is where we're going to finish. Real quick, you're going to fight like you're Irish, the fighting Irish, right? From here, you're going to roll this hand, roll this hand. Watch what happens to the side of his head when you roll that hand. If you drop it, pick it up. I got kind of excited. I thought I was going to hit myself. Roll your hand. Roll the other hand, roll one, roll the other one. Notice when I roll, I'm turning. You're, you always want to have extension of the arm and rotation of the shoulders and the hips to make it powerful. So from here, turn, turn the wrong way. <laughs> turning and turning the other way. I'm rushing, I'm trying to get this in so we can train a little bit before my students walk in that door. So from here, I'm turning here, I'm turning here. It's, see what happens to your arm? you actually, by turning your shoulder, you're getting more reach. That's the great thing about using a homemade self-defense walking stick. When you stop the threat with a homemade self-defense walking stick, you have reach advantage. So you have reach advantage. This other hand acts as a, a backstop, a break. 
so that you can pop it off of that, speed it up, practice this motion, and then finish with this motion, straight down on top. Make sure you have a good grip on it so it doesn't bounce back and hit your head. I've done that too. You watch enough of me yapping and yapping while I'm practicing with one of these, you're gonna see me hit myself over and over again. But don't worry, you're not gonna die. I've never died. You might get a little lump and then you feel it the next time you wash your hair. And then you'll think, oh, what was I doing? And then you start to laugh at yourself because you can't take yourself too seriously. But learn how to do this turning wrist motion here. You're gonna find it's actually really fast and you can distract somebody, hit them very quickly, down over the top, pick it up here, get lower, down over the top, stop that vicious animal from mauling somebody else. Bring it around this way, bring it around this way. You're fighting like your Errol Flynn, right? You're fighting like one of the three musketeers. Super simple. If you keep it simple, if you learn how to defend yourself, stop the threat with the homemade self-defense walking stick, you're gonna find simple is best. You don't wanna to get too complicated. That's why I don't talk too much about footwork. I do want you to practice stepping to the side, stepping to the other side though, because if he's bigger than you, you wanna to get to the side. And if you can hit him on the way by, then it's gonna be a lot more effective. And again, one more time, this is not a kata. You're not dancing. You want to keep going, strike, multiple times, fight's not over until you win, close with and destroy, violence of action. So this is self-defense, it's not martial arts, it's pure self-defense. Get yourself a 36 inch dowel and practice how to use, how to stop the threat with a homemade self-defense walking stick. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you very much.